Because if you're, if you're a dog owner and you're walking and you're here and she's pulling just like that, she's not with you. Because if I let go of the leash, she's gone. Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's Canine Educator. Today we are in Virginia, beautiful Virginia, hot Virginia, but beautiful Virginia. And we are working with a dog that was an hour away from being euthanized. This dog is super sweet. Wait till you meet this dog. It's going to blow your mind. Sweetest dog ever, was in a kill shelter, rescued, and then rehomed here in Virginia. So today I'm going, this dog knows nothing. So I'm going to show you the process of coming in and working with a young dog. This dog is less than a year old. And from start to finish, how to develop the foundational training skills skills that the dog and the owner will need to be successful and then of course how to build the best relationship with a new dog. We're going to transfer this outside. See how we do. The most important thing when you transfer environments is it, don't start where we left off here. You're going to start out there where we started off in here because that's where a lot of people make that mistake is they, 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 they start off where we finally got to a certain point in here and we're at that level of like okay nothing going on and we're doing this. Well out there you're gonna get frustrated if you try to do what we did in here immediately, um, just because she, she, that's a completely different environment and it's gonna be way different. So you'll have to work on the healing out there uh, at a very small level. So heal, sit, break, but like very small increments, not like what you've been doing. Good, so turn and go the other way. Good, and now let, let the leash out a little bit and turn and come the other way again. Tell him to heal, tell her to heal. There. So here's what I want to do. Here, I'll take her for a second. Break. So what I want to do is right now she's she's like halfway with you and then halfway with yeah, but we're outside. So uh, to to gain that engagement, because like I said before, once you master it inside, and even yesterday we got away with like the stay command or the introductory to the stay command. Well, out here. It, you have to almost start over, but the foundation's already laid. So it actually layers in a lot simpler than inside. Inside was teaching and the foundation. Out here is the foundation's already laid. We just have to, we have to teach the dog. We have to do it out here as well. So instead of like being really close to her, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and then I'm going to recall and then out and then recall. So what I want to do is I don't want you to have to like contain her on the leash because if you're, if you're a dog owner and you're walking and you're here and she's pulling just like that, She's not with you. Because if I let go of the leash, she's gone. Just like that. So what I want to do is I want to create the relationship like we had yesterday. She just doesn't know what I want. She's not disobeying. She's like, but I'm outside, so this is what we do. Yeah. And I have to teach her, yes, I want you to be a dog, but I also want you to listen to me as the handler. So I'll show you that process. Yes, I love you. Yes, I do. He's a good girl. Okay, heel. Good. Freya, heel. Good girl. Freya, heel. Good girl. Freya, heel. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, heel. Good girl. Heel. Heel. I want you to watch the pressure on the leash start to become better and better. What a sweet girl. This is a very natural way to train dogs, okay? In my opinion, it's the most natural way to train a dog because, okay, break, break, good girl. Because I don't want her to, so like I said before when I was talking about in the beginning, is if you, if you throw somebody into the mix and you say, I want you to get this dog to pay attention to you and listen to you, and you, and, and you say, oh, hold on, I gotta get my, my jerky or my meat or my food out. It's like, no, nothing. Like, I want you to have a piece of rope and do it. And that's what I did. It, it's, a, it's as natural as it possibly can get under the time restraints that we have. And with her, she's a puppy. Super serious question. Do you think puppies are cute? If you do, smash that subscribe button. And if you don't, leave a comment below. So if you say, all right, take your time. Well, we're all gonna grow old and she's gonna go, okay, I'm seven, I'm ready to listen. <laughs> right, that's, we, we have to be like, no, no, no. 
let's do this. And so this is a very, the most natural way to teach a dog to pay attention to you and to pay attention to you as a handler and an owner to create that engagement outside. Because it, again, she's an animal. So if you let go of the leash, she's gonna go. Yep, keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. So right there, so see how she was, so she's in this little leaf or whatever. So then when you had that like, Sit. stay, just tell her to stay. Sit. Good, and then you can just move away a little bit. <laughs> Good. Good stay. Good, perfect. All right. Yeah, so let me show you something really quick with her. So, um, you're still um, transitional with her. So I think you're still, uh, I don't know if it's hesitancy or it's um, you don't want to punish her too much or whatever, or both. But so that was a perfect example where I was watching her behavior and she locked on to that little tulip flower or whatever the heck it is, orchid flower. And she was like this and she's pulling and you said, no, sit. And then she finally was came up and that was the time of like, are you, are you serious or are you not? And then you kind of just, it was stagnant for like five seconds and then she kind of went back at it. So you have to be consistent with what you're doing because she said, no, I want the flower. And you went, went and she came up and she just stood there and she's waiting for the direction of like, okay, fine. Cause she, she may have just drowned you out cause she, cause that, flower could have like really just sparked all of these senses is and she was just here and then she and then she was like okay. so just be just be a little bit more um just be a little bit more uh what are you tired just be a little bit more um i guess persistent with it so let me let me heal and the other thing with your uh with your stays is if you don't reward her when she's actually staying she's not going to capture it and you're gonna you're gonna get like a four second stay pretty much her entire life. So you try to reward her when she's in there. Ah, for a sit. Good sit, right? Good sit, good job. Stay. Good stay, Freya. Good stay. Good stay. Good stay. So I'm sending good vibes of like, good girl, that's what I wanted. You're doing what I want. Like, I'm saying, I'm, so I'm saying good. So she goes, okay, I'm doing something good, but what am I doing good? Stay, okay, what's the stay thing? This, oh, okay, cool. So, but if you just go stay and you sit and then you go break, she's gonna, it's not wrong. It's just, I want you to have more enthusiasm with it. So she really captures it where she's like, I'll do it. And, and it's more enthusiastic. And then, okay, break, good girl. That's a good girl. So just become a little bit more animated with her and really just drive it in to make her feel like she's really doing it right. Does that make sense? Yeah. But in the, it's, it's like when children learn how to ride a bike for the first time or use the potty for the first time, you're like, yeah, and you're really trying to like drive it in. So to enforce, like, that's what I want you to do right there. So in the preliminary stages of building that behavior, Good stay, good stay. You're doing it like a kid riding a bike. You're doing it. You're doing it. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. And they're and they're getting all. Am I? Is it right? And you're like, yes, this is it. And you're trying to. What you're trying to do is you're you're trying to enforce the brain that you're teaching to capture that behavior, and to ca capture the muscles of like them actually doing it the right way. And so that way, when they get onto the bike the second time, the bike, they're gonna be like, okay, I remember when I. Okay, and then and then and then they just and then it just takes off. And then guess what? No more training wheels and Tour de France comes. So it's the same thing as when you're out and you're working with her, you're not gonna have to go, good stay. I only say it so many times to capture the behavior, to let the dog know that I'm reinforcing that behavior. I'm not saying it because I'm like, please, please, please stay, please, please. I'm just saying, yes, that's it. You're finally doing it. You're really doing it. And then in the future when they're like, oh, got it. This is stay. All right, I'm good. Because right now she's, you know, because she learned yesterday. So she's still kind of like, stay, huh? And, but if you're going, good stay, good stay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's the biggest thing I wanted to say about that. In the future, you won't have to do that. You're gonna go sit, stay, and you're gonna walk away. Because she knows it so well. But when she's learning it, drive it in. Yeah, just that momentum. Just be a little bit more, just, just, just try to 
bring like the most confidence that you possibly can to the leash to just tell her like the confidence goes your energy is it sounds cliche and stuff but it is it's the confidence that you bring to the room of just grab and go Do that's all dogs communicate with is is your your i don't want to say energy but it is it's like your 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 aura like when you walk into a room you, pe you can you can just tell what type of person that that person is by how they present themselves and how they move and how they do things dogs are gonna say, okay, you're just kind of asking me. Mm. Don't ask, tell. Just grab the leash and go, and they will follow. Okay. It's just like it, the other the other animal that I, I relate this to because a lot of people have experiences with it, or they just they they have been around them as horses. Like you just grab and go, but if you're just sitting there like looking at each other, like okay, do you want to go or do you not? They're gonna be like you you make the move. Like Hi, I'm. Dude. Yeah, you just, yeah, dogs are the same way. Except dogs are a little bit more opportunistic. Where horses are like, I'm just gonna stand here and not move. Where dogs are like, I'm just gonna run away from you and not move. The big test is going to be that area out there where all the fun creatures are living, all the squirrels, the prey drive kicks in, the distraction kicks in, the smell kicks in, all the sensations go firing off. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, don't forget, cop yourself some No Bad Dog Burge at buynobaddogs.com.